When you need mealtime inspiration, it's worth shopping Kroger, for thousands of appetizing ingredients that inspire countless mouth-watering meals. And no matter what tasty choice you make, you'll enjoy our everyday low prices, plus extra ways to save, like digital coupons worth over $600 each week, and up to $1 off per gallon at the pump with points. So you can get big flavors and big savings. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Fuel restrictions apply. Live from the 107th floor of the Cat Country 107.3 studios, just outside beautiful Atlantic City, New Jersey, it's the Joe and Shauna Sunrise Challenge. It's your chance to fire up your brain and show South Jersey exactly who you are. Now, here are your hosts, Joe and Shauna. Shauna, who's our contestant? It's Charlie from Hamilton. Charlie, thanks for joining us on the Joe and Shauna Sunrise Challenge. Oh, thanks for having me. We're stoked that you're here. Are you ready for this? You think you can handle it? I'm ready. Let's go. All right, All right. But we have a question for you first. Go ahead, Joe. First, what's your super uh, superhero power? Your, I like how you say that. Superhero power? <laughs> I'm, I'm saying your, it wrong. What's your superpower? What's your superpower if you were a superhero? There you go. Uh, I think it would be pretty neat to fly. That's fair enough. No, You'd save a no, lot on no, uh, airline tickets. No, that's what you want. What do you have now that's a power? Oh, good. Oh, uh, so, uh, hmm. My ability to talk to anybody. I'm a good talker. There That's you go. True. There you go. That's All right. true. All right, Charlie. We're going to play our Sunrise Challenge. We're going to ask you to name 10 things specifically in five. I'm sorry, five things specifically in, in 10, 10 seconds. seconds. There it is. All right, you ready? Yeah. I'm going right. to tell you the thing, then I'm going to repeat it, and then I'll say go, and then you'll have 10 seconds. I get to say okay. go. No, I say go. Ugh, fine. I'm work. doing three, two, one first. Okay. <laughs> ready? Charlie, we need you to name five Atlantic City casinos. That don't start with the letter B. So again, name five Atlantic City casinos that don't start with the letter B. Three, two, one, go. Uh, we're gonna do Harrah's, uh, Ocean Resort, uh, Tropicana, Claridge. I don't know if that's there anymore. It and uh, it's not a casino anymore. But that's fine. Keep going. Um, sorry. Yay! You're <laughs> close. We'll call it three and a half. Charlie, and a half. <laughs> thanks for playing the Joe and Jonna Sunrise Challenge. Thank you for having me. This has been the Joe and Jonna Sunrise Challenge from Cat Country 107.3. <laughs> Good morning. We're Joe and Jana. Welcome to a Tuesday morning. It is the 24th day of September. Having your period today? Well, it's punctuation day, so it all works out. Oh, what? there you go. <laughs> it's also... Oddly specific <laughs> for some of us in this room. It's also kiss day and bluebird of happiness day. Don't touch me. And ladies and gentlemen, listen to this. It was on this date in 1977 that maybe the world's best television show debuted. Disco? Uh, the Love Boat. Oh. The disco. It sounds like Excited. disco music. Yeah. The Love Boat theme. The great, maybe yeah. the greatest program in the history of television. They really did Eric's live on a boat, right? No, they didn't live on a boat. What's the uh, show where they lived on a houseboat? We're talking about the Love Boat right now. I don't know what you're talking about. Then I have no clue what the this show boat. is. They sailed the, every, each is. and every week on your television. And they always had three or four great guest stars from either the world of entertainment, sports, what have you. Is it like a sitcom? Oh my God, John, I grow up. I, I, what do you want? I'm sorry I wasn't pushed out yet. You've never you've never watched a single I've, edition of The Love Boat? No, but I've heard of it. I like I know what I've heard of the show. You've heard of it. They didn't live on a boat. Then I there's a show <laughs> where a family like lived on a boat and I don't remember what it's called, but it Talking was from Swiss back then. Swiss Family of Robinson? They no. lived in a tree. No. The Love Boat, the greatest television show of all time. Good morning. When you need mealtime inspiration, it's worth shopping Kroger for thousands of appetizing ingredients that inspire countless mouth-watering meals. And no matter what tasty choice you make, you'll enjoy our everyday low prices, plus extra ways to save, like digital coupons worth over $600 each week and up to $1 off per gallon at the pump with points. So you can get big flavors and big savings. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Fuel restrictions apply.
Three things you need to know this morning. A 64-year-old man driving an ATV was killed in an accident in Ann Arbor Township late Friday night. They say about 11.30 at night, the ATV struck a utility pole. The driver, whose identity is being withheld pending notification of next of kin, was pronounced dead at the scene. A Galloway man who documented his entry into the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021 by posting on Instagram. Duh. While inside House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office has pleaded guilty to two charges. Duh. 31-year-old Christian Alvaro. Alfonso pleaded guilty on Friday in federal court. He is scheduled to be sentenced in January. Let's see. Let me put the, me committing a crime on Instagram. Oh, no one will ever see it. So dumb. What's happening at Great Adventure? Delays yeah. have prevented some of the events at Fright Fest from opening. Oh, no. Fright Fest was scheduled to open September 13th, but Six Flags announced it would open as a preview instead. With some of the mazes still closed, the preview continued into this past weekend as well. Officials did not explain why the mazes were not available, stating that unforeseen circumstances prevented the opening. And your South Jersey weather for today, it'll be mostly cloudy, maybe a sprinkle or two, with a high of 70. Weather brought to you by Atlantic City Electric. Storm season is here. Atlantic City Electric knows a little prep makes a big difference. See how you can stay connected during storms and prepare to weather any weather at AtlanticCityElectric.com slash Country 107.3, mornings with Joe and Jana. Cash cow, 10 chances today to win up to $30,000. Your first chance happens at 820 this morning. Right now, it's time for Jana's fangirl update. Jelly Roll made his acting debut this weekend, sort of. He was spotted on the show starring Sylvester Stallone called Tulsa King. Have you heard of it? They're only in season two. He appears during the end of season two, episode two. He plays himself traveling through Oklahoma on his way to a show at the Box Center in Tulsa. So Stallone calls him Jellyfish since he's not supposed to know who he is. And the story really gets going from there. Everything you missed from Jelly Roll's TV show, it's up now at CatCountry1073.com. Make sure you check that one out. It's actually kind of funny. Morgan Wallen performed a doubleheader to sold out crowds on Friday and Sunday nights. It was really cool in Knoxville, Tennessee. So if you know anything about Morgan Wallen, that's his hometown. So it was a really, they were really big shows. On Sunday night, Wallen was halfway through his set when he let the crowd know that a special guest was going to be taking the stage with him. The crowd lost it when Miranda Lambert walked out. She and Wallen, they were so excited to sing Thought You Should Know together since they wrote it together. And this was the first time they've actually performed performed it side by side since in the studio writing it. Well, we've got it up for you on the Cat Country 107.3 app. Make sure you check it out. That Jana's fangirl update. Country 107.3 mornings with Joe and Jana. I apologize, but I'm still obsessed with the fact it was on this date in 1977 that the TV series The Love Boat premiered. It just sounds like disco to me. The Love Boat theme. Yeah. Exciting. 1977, this was the most exciting thing to happen to a 15-year-old boy, especially when Charo guest Charo. I know who Charo is. Do you? Yeah. Uh, Florence she played guitar. Florence Henderson appeared more times than any other. She was the mom on like, the Brady Bunch. Like, yeah, you know. I knew that. But they would have guest stars each and every week, and the, the, they'd say, say a lot for a week and come back, and everybody get off the ship. But uh, it was very interesting that all the stars at the time, all the big stars, 33 different Academy Award winners were on wow. the Love Boat as guest stars. That's a big deal. And I got a, started thinking, if the Love Boat was on today, who would some guest stars be on the show? Us. Uh, you know Just who would kidding. be on the show? Donald Trump would be on the show. Okay. Taylor Swift would be on the show. Would she? Yes. Would she agree she would to be do on it? the show because it was it. It was the it thing then. Oh, okay. Garth Brooks would be on the show. All right. And Trisha Jelly, Yearwood they would both Roll. be on the show. Jelly Roll would be on the show. Um, some of your favorite sports stars would be on the show. Coming up at 720, we debut with Jana's Trending Up or Trending Down. Yeah, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to Facebook right now or the Cat Country 107.3 app, and you're going to let us know whether what we ask you is trending up or trending down. Is it hot or is it not? You tell us. And right now, you can go to the Cat Country 107.3 Facebook page and Cat Country Mornings with Joe and Jana. Trending up or trending down? What are we asking this morning, Joe? Local summer. Local summer. Are we? Is it over already? Is, yeah. Is it over? Are we still here for it? What's the deal? Is everybody still going to the beach? What's happening? Local summer. That's our question for you today on trending up, trending down. Local summer. I think are, as long as you have temperatures in the 60s right, or higher, right, well, local summers is good. We're leaving it up to you to decide. Trending up or trending down. You can let us know right now. You can drop a thumbs up or thumbs down. 
trending up or trending down local. Country 107.3, mornings with Joe and John. Time now for your Cat Country Joke of the Morning. Being brought to you today by East Coast Roofing Siding Windows. If you call, they'll show up. EastCoastRoofing.com. Brian lives in Hamilton. He sent us the joke in use today. All right, Brian. Thank you. Why is a tile floor like a man? Let me say that again. Why is a tile floor like a man? Mm. If you lay them right the first time, you can walk all over them for the rest of your life. It's Cat Country 107.3. Mornings with Joe and Jana. Yesterday was Jana's spa day. How'd it go? Oh, my gosh. It was so great. Jessica from Sea Spa Sanctuary gave me the tropical massage. Ooh. And I'm dreaming about it. Oh, my gosh. It was absolutely wonderful. Congratulations to all the winners that got to ha- we all got to hang out yesterday at Sea Spa Sanctuary inside the Tropicana's Chelsea Tower. We had food. We had dinner from Carmine's. It was delicious. They brought food over. It was so much fun. I just like kind of want to live there. <laughs> it was great. I would sit. I'm sure, they'd be glad to have you. I would sit in those spas all day. It was so great. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Well, we got lots of big chances to win today. How about thirty thousand dollars in cash? Ooh, cash cow! Your first chance to win coming up at eight. 8- Cat Country 107.3, mornings with Joe and Jonna. Time now for your Cat Country Dumb Story of the Morning. And where are we going? Sweden. A policeman noticed two men tussling on the sidewalk. One of the men said, we just swapped trousers. What? The other man told a different story. He said he was walking down the street when the first man jumped him, yanked off his pants, and tossed a pair of sweatpants at him in exchange. Oh. The officer determined that the assailant had been refused entry to a nearby pub because he wasn't properly dressed. And apparently decided the passing victim wore the same size as him, so he tried to steal his pants. Wow. The theft was told the thief was told to swap the pants back and was taken to jail. Yeah. I hate, I hate when that happens. When you your pants get ripped off? Yeah. Yeah. Cat Country 107.3. Good morning. We're Joe. When you think about businesses that are selling through the roof, like Aloe or Allbirds or Skims, sure, you think about a great product, a cool brand, and brilliant marketing. But an often overlooked secret is actually the businesses behind the business, making selling simple. For millions of businesses, that business is Shopify. Nobody does selling better than Shopify, home of the number one checkout on the planet. And the not-so-secret secret? With ShopPay that boosts conversions of to 50%, meaning way less carts going abandoned and way more sales going. So if you're into growing your business, your commerce platform better be ready to sell whatever your customers are scrolling or strolling on the web, in your store, in their feed, and everywhere in between. Upgrade your business and get the same checkout Skims uses. Sign up for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash try, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash try to upgrade your selling today. Shopify.com slash try. Three things you need to know this morning. A 64-year-old man driving an ATV was killed in an accident in Egg Harbor Township late Friday night. They say about 1130 at night, the ATV struck a utility pole. The driver whose identity is being withheld pending notification of next of kin was pronounced dead at the scene. A Galloway man who documented his entry into the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021 by posting on Instagram Duh. while inside House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office has pleaded guilty to two charges. Duh. 31-year-old Christian Alfonso pleaded guilty on Friday in federal court. He is scheduled to be sentenced in January. Let's see. Let me put the, me committing a crime on Instagram. Uh, no one will ever see it. So dumb. What's happening at Great Adventure? Delays have prevented some of the events at Fright Fest from opening. Oh, no. Fright Fest was scheduled to open September 13th, but Six Flags announced it would open as a preview instead. With some of the mazes still closed, the preview continued into this past weekend as well. Officials did not explain why the mazes were not available, stating that unforeseen circumstances prevented the opening. And your South Jersey weather for today, it'll be mostly cloudy, maybe a sprinkle or two with a high of 70. Weather brought to you by Atlantic City Electric. Storm season is here. Atlantic City Electric knows a little prep makes a big difference. See how you can stay connected during storms and prepare to weather any weather at AtlanticCityElectric.com slash Joe and Jonna. Cat Country Morning Birthday shout out start right now. All right, here we go. Tammy Harding from Millville is celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday, Tammy. Tammy, you go, girl. Lisa Sedona, Sudana, Sodano. Lisa there it is. Sodano of Summers Point has a birthday. Happy birthday, Lisa. Bill Warren of Northfield is 56. Steven Stankowitz of Villas is 61. Ray White Jr. is 62 today. Happy birthday to Diane Conover of Linwood. Diane is 66. Diane, happy birthday. Holly Cassidy of Villas is 30. 
Avina Johnson of South Dennis has a birthday. Elvina. 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 I can't pronounce That's any That's such a cool name. Elvina. Elvina, yes. Elvina Johnson, South Dennis. Happy birthday. Vicki McCarrick of Maze Landing is 60. Well, let's see what else I can mispronounce. Jen Fry of Bayville has a birthday. Happy birthday, Jen. You did it. And Ralph Gaskell has a birthday. Very nice. Happy birthday, Ralph. We missed you. Happy one to you as well. The recipient of our Cat Country Big Birthday shout out today, Holly Cassidy of Villas, the big 3 0. Cat Country 107.3. Trending up or trending down? What do you think? Local summer. That's trending up or trending down today. Is it hot or not? Is local summer kind of a thing of the past? Is no. it not as popular? No. Or is it like, is it kind of fizzling out sooner during the year than it normally would? You let us know. I think it's trending up. You think it's trending up? I think we're just starting with local summer. All right. Well, we've got it on Facebook for you to answer us right now. We also just set an alert. You can chat with us on the app. Trending up or trending down local summer. Is you, it hot or not? What do you think? I think it's hot. I mean, I definitely think, look, I want, I'm not ready to like give it up yet, but I will say, I will say for whatever reason, I don't know. I feel like by like the first week of October, it's going to be done. So well, we still have three weeks. Yeah, I guess Two that's weeks. true. I guess that's true. But you let us know. You decide hot or not local summer. Let us know on Facebook, the app, or on Instagram with a thumbs up or thumbs down. Local summer, hot or not. Cat Country 107.3. Trending up or trending down? Vote now. Hit the message us button on the... Point three mornings with Joe and Jana. Some of us will be remembered for being good parents, good teachers, good sports coaches. What are we going to be remembered for? Good radio personalities. We could. That's Good community people. True. Other people will be remembered for... Being really good at tossing tortillas. Tossing tortillas? Aaron Nienaber of Minnesota has claimed the world's record for the furthest tortilla throw. Wait, wait, wait. W- wait, this is flawed. We didn't try yet. I think we should. We should. Okay. We'll go to Birch Grove Park, get some tortillas. Wait, we need specifics. Did she fry the tortilla? Aaron. Was it wet? Was it dry? I, I assume it's dry. Okay. I assume it's dry. What size? There's a couple sizes. I don't know. It's buy just a store. tortilla. We buy the biggest one because, well, will the biggest one fly the furthest or will the smallest That's one That's what I'm furthest? saying. We have some We have some testing to do. So in terms of feet, what do you think the world record for throwing a tortilla is? I don't know. Like 20? 20 feet? I feel like that's far. I could throw you 20 feet. You could, Good luck. <laughs> good luck with that. 119 feet is the Guinness Book of World Records for tossing that's a tortilla. Far. I think if you threw it like a Frisbee. Or like maybe like if you like held it flat like you do like bean bags for cornhole and just like chuck. You know what I mean? I think yeah, yeah, like a Frisbee. Like yeah, a frisbee. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, $30,000. Your first chance will be at 820 this morning. And we have a last minute birthday that we have to shout out today. Jace from Williamstown, eight years old today. Jace, happy birthday. Cat Country Morning Trivia is on the air. Phone number is 609-383-1073. Or you can hit the call us button on the Cat Country 107.3 app. It's the call us button because you have to talk to us to win. Today's prize, four tickets to Gold Over America Tour starring Simone Biles. This is where they swim? Is that, no. No. That's gymnastics. not what the, the, Yes, she's a gymnastics superstar. Gold Over America Tour starting Simone Biles Friday, October 4th, 7.30. Wells Fargo Center in Philly. You win trivia this morning. You win four tickets. By the way, you can find out more at wellsfargocenterphilly.com. Here's the question. The first women hired for this position could weigh no more than 115 pounds. I'm out. Had to be nurses. I'm out. And had to be unmarried. I'm one for three right now. Okay. <laughs> one for three. What was the job? The first women hired for this job had to weigh less than 115 pounds. Nope. Had to be nurses. Nope. And had to be unmarried. Check. Three mornings with Joe and Jana. Trivia is on the air and stink. Four tickets to Gold Over America Tour with Simone Biles in Philadelphia, the Wells Fargo Center, Friday, October 4th. You've got two t- or four tickets. So awesome. Here's the question. The first women hired for this job could weigh no more than 115 pounds. They had to be nurses and had to be unmarried. Okay. What was the job? Cat Country Morning Show co-host. No, that's not it. <laughs> no, that's not it. Hi, Cat Country. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's your answer? Um, you had to be an airline stewardess. Absolutely right. You're a winner. Wow. Yes. I can't even believe I got through. <laughs> What's what? your name? 
My name is Monica. Monica, are you now or have you ever been a flight attendant? No. Oh. Are you under 115 pounds, not married, and a nurse? That's not John asking, not Joe. No, I'm a school teacher. Oh, okay, you. there you go. You know, school teachers, are, you, you couldn't to, be married, You couldn't right? be married at one time. That's crazy. I am married, but years ago, you weren't allowed to be married. You're yeah. right about that. Yeah. Breaking glass yeah. ceilings. What's It's what we do. Monica, where are you from? I'm from Brigantine. But I want to say hello to my husband, Bob. He's painting our bathroom. Hi, Bob. Bob, what color? What color is he painting it? White. Ooh. Good. Are you going to put up backsplash? No, uh, we just had the, a new shower put in and a new floor. The, what? Like, the, they, that's a tiles. trend now. It's called tiles. Whatever. I call it backsplash. Yeah, Whatever. Tree 107.3, mornings with Joe and Jana. Again, congratulations to Monica. Winner in trivia. The first woman hired for this job could weigh no more than 115 pounds. Had to be a nurse. Had to be unmarried. Flight attendant was the answer. I can't find information this morning, but I think... One of the first flight attendants was from Bader Field in Atlantic City. One of the first That's flights so out of Bader Field cool. had flight attendants for the first time. First flight with flight attendants. Something. Attendants. Well, why are you Googling, City. What, what are we Googling I'm Googling, Googling this that. literally right now. The woman who served as a flight attendant for the longest time in history was actually from uh, Pleasantville. Her name was Betty Nash. She actually, Betty actually uh, passed away earlier this year. She'd been a flight attendant for over 50 years. Wow. But she uh, grew up in Atlantic City area, grew up, was born in Pleasantville. That's crazy. You know, I I don't know if, I don't think Borgata still have Borgata Babes. Do they still do that? When the casino first opened, they hired Borgata Babes, and there were young women that had to be certain specifications. They had to be under so much, so, so much poundage. That away. And see, and now guys and then, have and, an issue with women having standards about the guys they'll date. Look at what we came from. Look at where we well, came from. It was only 20 from. years ago, 25 years ago. Um, exactly. So but now yeah, if we're like, you know. To be a Borgata babe, you had to weigh less than. And then somebody actually uh, sued them. Yeah, yeah sued I bet them. they did. I hope they won. Because if you got over the limit, it was goodbye to you. Good morning. We're Joe and John. Here are three things you need to know this morning. A 64-year-old man driving an ATV was killed in an accident in Egg Harbor Township late Friday night. They say about 1130 at night, the ATV struck a utility pole. The driver, whose identity is being withheld pending notification of next of kin, was pronounced dead at the scene. A Galloway man who documented his entry into the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021 by posting on Instagram Duh. while inside House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office has pleaded guilty to two charges. Duh. 31-year-old Christian Alfonso pleaded guilty on Friday in federal court. He is scheduled to be sentenced in January. Let's see. Let me put the, me committing a crime on Instagram. Oh. No one will ever see it. So dumb. What's happening at Great Adventure? Delays yeah. have prevented some of the events at Fright Fest from opening. Oh, no. Fright Fest was scheduled to open September 13th, but Six Flags announced it would open as a preview instead. With some of the mazes still closed, the preview continued into this past weekend as well. Officials did not explain why the mazes were not available, stating that unforeseen circumstances prevented the opening. And your South Jersey weather for today, it'll be mostly cloudy, maybe a sprinkle or two, with a high of 70. Weather brought to you by Atlantic City Electric. Storm season is here. Atlantic City Electric knows a little prep makes a big difference. See how you can stay connected during storms and prepare to weather any weather at AtlanticCityElectric.com slash Country 107.3, mornings with Joe and Jonathan. Time now for my favorite tweets from the last 24 hours. Here we go. There are five of them. Number one, don't tell me my dreams can't come true. A service dog approached me at the airport, wanted to be petted. Look at you go. <laughs> Number two, I don't like the person I become when someone tries to tell me that the 90s were 30 years ago. Ugh, tell me about it. Number three, apparently when you're a man in your 50s, anything after midnight is just P o'clock. Sorry, yep. guys. Yeah, that's what we Sorry. do. Sorry. Number four, you don't need a good reason to not want kids. I hate touching poop, and I'm happy with my Spotify algorithm. <laughs> reason enough. We're Joe and Jana. These are my favorite tweets. Last one, number five. If you're going to clap when the plane lands, please be under the age of six. But yes. I like to clap when my Uber driver gets me to my destination. Yeah. Good job. Three mornings with Joe and Jana. It is time. It is cash cow time. Your chance to win up to $30,000. Nice. Think about what you could do with that. A couple things, that's for sure. Ten times today, we're going to give you a clue or a code at 20 minutes past the hour from now until 5.20 p.m. When you get a code, you're going to go to the Cat Country 107.3 app, open it up, hit the button that says win $30,000, and type in your code. Your first code of the day, your 8.20 a.m. code is 735.
735. 735. That's the code that you need right now. 735. You're going to click on the $30,000 button. Win 30K on the Cat Country 107.3 app. And you're going to click. You're, we're going to type in 735. And you're going to be on your way to $30,000. We're going to have your next code coming up in an hour from right now. 920 this morning. 735 is the code you need right now. 735. You got this. Cat Country 107.3. Bust my line, a couple beautiful girls tell me goodbye. Trucks break down, dogs run off, politicians lie, been fired by the boss. It takes one hand to count the things I can count on. No, there ain't much man that ain't ever let me down. Torn this boy apart Like a neon dream It just don't know me The bars in this guitar And long neck Eyes cold beer Never broke my heart She was a dear Line of blue jean Baby fire in her eyes That drove me crazy It was red tail lights When she left town with Joe and Jonna. That's Luke Combs. We've got your next cash out code coming up at 920 this morning here at Cat Country 107.3. Cat Country 107.3. Trending up or trending down? We're talking about local summer this morning. That's what we're right in the middle of. Local summer. Is it over? Is it done? Or do we still have a couple of weeks? Mm. Or did you really get into it this year? What's the deal? You're going to go to our Cat Country 107.3 Facebook page. Drop a thumbs up or thumbs down. Hot or not, local summer. Is it trending up or trending down for 2024? You can do it on the Facebook page. You can do it on Instagram at Cat Country 107.3. Or you can shoot us a message on our app. Click the message us button. Keith says thumbs up, local summer. Yes, it's absolutely still a thing. Alexis Ray commented on Facebook. She said thumbs up. We got to go over to Instagram. We've got Beast of the Bell. Beast to the Bell. Oh, hi, Dale. That's Dale. He thumbs up. Alexa Craver thumbs up. Me, I commented. Duh. Thumbs up. I don't think we've had anybody that's done a thumbs down yet. So local summer, still a thing, still in full swing. Cat Country 107.3. Trending up or trending down? Vote now. Hit the message us. When you need mealtime inspiration, it's worth shopping Kroger for thousands of appetizing ingredients that inspire countless mouth-watering meals. And no matter what tasty choice you make, you'll enjoy our everyday low prices. 
plus extra ways to save, like digital coupons worth over $600 each week and up to $1 off per gallon at the pump with points. So you can get big flavors and big savings. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Fuel restrictions apply.